Well, it's pretty slimy over there, too. That's a real ugly area. And it's almost as if it's very dagger. There is a lot of crime over there. That's oh, true. Self. There was another robbery over there just yesterday. And it was at the Good Time store, too. Yeah. A good time was had by all. All the robbers. Uh. Well, well you my goodness. Lord help us. I'm afraid of all those things, too, that he's talking about. Um, let's see, my biggest personal fear besides some of those things would be... Well, I've always been awful scared of large, strange dogs. Her, you still didn't like Flint too good, do ya? And Squint. Well, you gotta admit, Captain Squint, he a very large dog. And, and he's strange, too. He's very good to you, of course, but he's very suspicious of other people. And that dog do make me nervous a lot. He's so... The dog do makes you nervous. Yeah. You better refresh that. Oh, now, you know what I mean. But large dogs like the Pinches and the German Shepherds like you got can really send me into a fit. But one thing, they box a lot and they growl and show them awful teeth. I got chased one time by a German Shepherd that got loose and I run so fast and climbed a tree or he might have tore me up. I got chased by a brindle cow. I bet me money on the brindle. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seemed like I've been chased by a lot of things when I tell you about down on the farm. And I like dogs, especially little cuddly ones, but I sure don't like them pinches or those German shepherds or the chows and that other big one, the great dine. Well... No matter how much everybody tell me they're gentle and... What about greyhounds? Well, they... They're so skinny you could break them in half if they come after you. They don't seem to bother me as much as the others. Because they've got the squirts. <laughs> but I've been in areas where there've been a lot of guard dogs. And I know how mean they can be. And I've had bad dreams about those before. I was never scared of dogs at all. Not even wild dogs. Oh, Squint, I've seen sweat trickling down your face when we encounter wild dogs. Well, it can give me a little start here. But somehow, the dog is always intelligent. I always felt I could handle him. I'm talking about instinctive reflex furs. Of course, I'll run when the dog is chasing me to get away, but... It ain't like facing a big cat or something. I'm talking about the lions. Oh, yeah. Well, something ten foot long like that, Squint has a lot of acquaintances. Well, of course, I'm scared to death of big cats, but I don't encounter too many of them. And I was speaking more of, you know, the possibility type of thing. And I have been chased by big dogs. Yeah, well, I've seen some pretty bad accidents happen from, uh, Especially the pinchers. Ew. I hate them. You know, I I had this uh, boyfriend of mine, I told you before, we had to go to Vietnam, and this uh, Doberman pincher tore up his army fatigues. Er, he didn't like the color. He, he didn't like olive drab. I know, but they're colorblind, but, you know, I guess he didn't like the smell of them. It's true, dogs are colorblind. You know, more men are colorblind than women. And, and more... Hereditary traits are bad on men, you know, like baldness and color blindness. Men also yeah. die first, usually. They get your raw deal. But well, we got to get the break somewhere. Well, it's my turn, and uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. the same with me. Can't as argue what, with that. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Nothing. No. Well, everything that Squint said. It's the same fear as I have, but let me add to that, besides the terrors of the sea and, and shipwrecks and all of those type of things that we've dealt with a lot, I have a, a very uneasy feeling about quicksand. You know, I mean, it comes into my thoughts a lot about, now drowning is bad enough, but 
just thinking about quicksand, <laughs> the mucky mud, uh, you know, and if you don't have anyone to rescue you, it's just about impossible. You can to get catch out. your lunch. And I've had dreams about sinking in quicksand, and another thing that goes hand in hand with it is whirlpools. Especially when I was little, I used to think about the terror of being sucked down into a whirlpool, going round and round, and going down into that vortex. Ooh, I tell you what, Dolly. Uh, yeah, I did too. Yeah, you know, like say that there was a, a drainage canal or something, and there was a little bit of water running down in this canal, and there's this, it goes down a metal grate. I've always been afraid of falling in there and getting sucked down in there too. I dreamed yeah, about that one. Falling down the grid. Yeah, well, the great fall. I guess you could encompass that fear into a lot of things. Uh, the idea of being sucked down into anything or suffocating. My father used to be quite afraid of of small, dark places, which goes hand in hand with that. You know the. Um, we got a lot of suffocation idea. It's something where you can't get your breath. I, I hate that kind of thing, you know, like... I used to think it would be... Drowning would be a very humane and quick death, but I found out later that that's not so. And I just wouldn't want to have anything... To, I hope I don't go that way, you know, where I suffocate or anything. Especially when you're like me and you have asthma. You know what it's like to not be able to breathe very Without good. Without your gasper. You almost suffocate anyway, lots of times. We've had to slap you on the back and shake you and all of that. I almost suffocated yeah, one time, no. too. I made a, a minute long ew. <clears throat> yeah, and you're so red in the face, you always look like you're suffocating somewhere. Well, your face is so wide, sometimes it gets bigger. That's when I'm angry. Look, it's getting purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going into a rage. It's purple. Perpendicular. It's your, it's my third. Oh, I was just thinking about all of those things, the, the whirlpool. <laughs> I thought of whirlpools too when I was young and quick sand. I'll tell you what and scares me, it's my third. We should make a movie about the guy that gets in all these terrors. He gets chased by a big dog. He goes out to sea and he has the sharks and then he lands and he goes in the quicksand and he falls in the whirlpool. Full of little eddies. We yeah. have made stories like that every time we've been in it. It's right. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you what I'm afraid of. Is certain parts of caves. Oh, I knew you'd bring up caves. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> that you're probably thinking that since I like caves so much, I shouldn't be afraid of them. Are you afraid you'd be lost in them? Well, that that's a part of it. But it's a good you, point. Have you ever seen... Those great big drop-offs. Could you imagine what it would be like just falling in there and no one ever knowing you were there? And you would Trying never be to rescued. walk along in the dark. And then you take one false step and down you go. Now you don't know how deep it is because it's so dark. Falling into the abyss. Yeah, that's quite scary. And then all those little cave things that are like little plant, uh, animals, these blind... I always thought they were kind of creepy, you know, these blind little I'm fish. I'm really scared of caves, too. I would never go in one. I've been in over 500 caves. I belong to the National Speological Societies. You do with caves what we do with them nature things, don't you? You explore all them caves to try to conquer your fear of them, right? Yeah, I guess, but caves can be really beautiful. But in complete I dark, they're Are you all self-fitted? I have you fallen a lot. I've fallen a lot. What about you? I don't want caves. I've been in... I've been in quite a few. With yeah, of course we do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you brought up a good subject there. Caves can be very scary. And sometimes the tides wash the seawater in. And if you were trapped in there, you could be drowned. Could you imagine what it would be like to uh, be, say you're riding in a boat, and all of a sudden the water gets real fast and it goes under a rock, and then you're riding underneath the ground, you know, and you don't know where it's going and it keeps getting faster? <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. Anything? I can see it all right now. Eden for the great unknown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>